but the world needs some LSK fanny, fanny packs. packs. Dude, they want PRP LSK fanny packs. Dude, yes. All they do is comment on all my all of our posts now. Fanny packs. Oh god. Stop the madness, please. <laughs>So uh, I'm Aaron here with uh, LSK for the new industry uh, podcast. Uh, today we've got Justin from PRP Seats here, and uh, Dude, we're pretty excited you. for you to be here. Thank you for coming. Dude, naturally. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, we've got some new products here he's going to talk about. We're going to talk about, you know, what they have to offer and, and you know, why people pick what and what they recommend. And, uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead. Yeah, man, it's a it's a really uh, awesome market. The off-road space is is you know, better than I ever imagined four years ago, starting to work at PRP. And, uh, since then, all I've ever wanted is just to continue to just raise the bar, you know, on, uh, on popular products, you know, that off-roaders come to love. And, you know, these examples in front of you is exactly that, just raising that bar, taking the, the black harness that's already super popular, yeah. just raising that level up, um, to, you know, infinity. I feel like, you know, the, the possibilities are endless as long as we put our minds to it. And, you know, both of these examples are clear examples of, um, more designed products uh, that are already popular. Absolutely, and, and and honestly, like you guys have seats in almost every UTV I see out there. Yeah. Race car. I mean, you walk through a crowd and and, and in the, anywhere in the industry or any event, and I just see PRP all over the place, and it's pretty incredible the amount of people that believe in you guys and and the stuff you've created, and the and the seats are just unreal. And um, one of my big questions for you is, you know, wh why would someone pick a composite seat? Or racing seat um, over a suspension seat, and you know when do you recommend one over the other, and, and yeah. what would you go for? Yeah, really good question. Um, if a customer came up to me and asked me that question, um, most of the time I'm going to say I'll never be able to actually convince you, um, like how to pick one one or the other yeah. because it's all mental. And so um, a lot of the older heads really uh, love the suspension side, and then a lot of the newer guys are like, I really love composite. Um, so uh, it really just comes down to old to comfort um, to me. For suspension is you know suspension you are you are feeling the suspension you are with the suspension of the vehicle you're in and when you're riding in a composite you're with the f the vehicle that you're in so it's just a, a different type of, of feel you're with the car basically yeah. in a composite and the with the suspension seat you're with the suspension of the seat so you know mm -hmm. what the car is doing versus you know you know being in your 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 compact seat um, but I'll never sway someone across. I, I I want the consumer to pick the one that works for them. Right. They always go, "What's safer?" And I'm like, I, you know, how are you going to roll? How are you going to crash? You know, that's the <laughs> I, I can't dictate that, and neither can they. When it happens, it happens. You and, know? and I think one of the big things is I see a lot of people start with a suspension seat because it's just comfortable. You sit in it; it feels like a normal chair. Like you, yeah. you feel like you're just like part of the vehicle. Um, and then you tighten up your belt, you feel good. And then a lot of people that go a lot faster or, or higher endurance and they start going into the composite yeah, series seats. That's exactly it. I mean, yeah. we, we were just out at King of the Hammers, you know, there's, there's, there's PRP, you know, there are other racing seat brands totally out there. And, but this, if you are racing, um, 4,800, 4,400, um, I pri I'm primarily seeing our alpha race line, alpha race series seat, which yeah. is a full composite seat. Um, and then if I see like 4,500, um, and UTV class or 4,500 specifically, they're really in the suspension mm -hmm. still. Um, so they're running our podium series, our comp elites. Um, and then when you get to UTV, uh, they're running the alpha seat again. So okay. it just, uh, and when you get into racing, um, the the way the market's shifting is totally to going a fiberglass composite. Uh -huh. See, the day and age of running suspension um, in uh, in race cars is starting to dwindle away. Um, it's definitely moving towards towards that. But suspension's great. I think it's just as safe. Um, tons of consumers in the enthusiast market uh, run suspension, and um, you know it's been suspension seats have been around for a very long time. It seems like a great option, and also just like the ability once you get into that composite seat. I've noticed when you tighten down your belts, they stay tight. Like there's a lot of advantages to that. It's a hard their seat, maybe not as comfy at the moment, yeah. but, but oh, throughout the day, you're usually happy about it. Um, but if you're just cruising, you're, you're hanging out in Glamis, going trail riding, oh, yeah. the suspension seat seems like the way to go. And that's, oh. that's pretty much what you're seeing out there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we, we launched a, a, a brand new seat or well, a re-envisioned seat, the XCR, um, in July, you know, and the market's been so, um, 
in love with that seat. Yeah. You know, the sales of the XCR have, has been well received in the market. Um, Sandsport Super Show, super well received seat. Um, so the XCR and the GT3 uh, suspension seat for UTVs is really kind of taking the cake and and continuing that progress of growth here at PRP. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. And one thing you guys offer that I think is is amazing compared to the other seat companies is the ability to customize them, pick your colors. I mean, you can go right on your website and select all the different, like yeah. the, the stitching, the certain panels, what color you want, whether you want vinyl or cloth. Like it's it's pretty cool that you guys can do that in real time, see what you're gonna order. Yeah, I, we really we really take pride in that. Um, all of our suspension seats, all the covers, you know, they're all sewn here, right in Southern California. Um, so it is a, a really cool product to allow the customer to customize yeah. what they want. Um, I, it, it allows the personalization. You bought something, you know, a razor or a Can Am that's off the factory line. You know, there's hundreds, if not thousands, of other people with the exact same rig uh-huh. as yours. You know, and what are you going to do to make yours Different. yours? Yeah, you know, and yeah. our taglines: PRP, make it yours. And, right. and that's what we want. We right. want people to make it their own. It's awesome. It's very cool. And and you know, obviously, if someone's buying the seats, they're buying the harnesses from you guys too. So it all matches. I, mean, I sure it's a hope so. Killer, I sure hope killer so. Pretty option to yeah. see. You know, the seat belts in there. Um, wh- when do you recommend people to run the four point harness versus a five? And then. Um, you know, obviously the fifth point is, in, in my case, I, I, I love having the fifth point. Yeah. I feel like it can keeps it in the right spot. Um, you know, what do you recommend for people? Yeah, uh, a couple good things to, to note here. The the 4.2 harness, the four point, it's sewn, it's sewn in, which means it's all one piece. Um, it has the auto buckle on it. We have it in a lap option, but the auto buckle options are best selling belt. Um, it's number wow. one. Um, but then when you jump to the five points, um, if you're driving aggressively, you're not afraid to take little jumps here and there. Mm-hmm. Like you should be running a fifth point just to make sure that you're not, you know, flying up. Absolutely. Basically, you know, as much as the harnesses are strapped down around your your actual um, shoulders, you just want to, you know, you never be too cautious. I feel like so. Um, definitely recommend a fifth point. Um, I will say the day and age of of running a, a, a three point harness, you know, is 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 dwindling away. That was the in thing to do. Mm-hmm. Um, now people are worried about that chafing on the sides and their necks. I'm like, well, if you're always wearing a hoodie, you know, that's preventing it from chafing on your neck. But, right. Uh, people like two inch. They're they're running towards two inch. Um, SFI came out and uh, let everybody know that a SFI certified 5.2 is just as safe as a SFI certified 5.3. Really? Yeah. So awesome. There, so there is no safety difference jumping from a, uh, a two inch to three inch. Yeah. Like the brain would want you to believe. And I've always had the three inch, but I actually get to try out a, a car with, with two inch wide and I really liked it. I thought it would put a lot more like pressure, mm-hmm. but to be honest, it was a lot more comfortable around the neck. Yeah. Um, felt like it wasn't like uh, restraining you as much, but you were still secure. You, yeah. It's, it's, just, it's kind of like a feel thing. I guess three inches, two inches more just like a... Just a, brain. Yeah. It's, like your, your brain goes, this pad's bigger, so it should be more comfortable. Right, right. And uh, it naturally, it, it, it isn't, or it doesn't have to be. Every rider's different. Like when I go riding up, I'm always in a hoodie. I don't care whether it's two inch or three inch. But um, if someone said, what harness do I want? I'd say 5.2, yeah. you know, if you're driving aggressively. Um, but uh, if you're driving, yeah, aggressively, you're definitely, you know, the guy that's a over-enthusiastic driver, run the five. Um, if you're out there for leisure, hanging out, trail riding, getting in and out a lot, um, kids, um, your lady doesn't want to keep assembling this yeah, every yeah. single time. Right, right. You know, um, get them the 4.2 th- yeah. or the 4.3. Um, those are two sewn in belts where it's all one piece. And so um, that would be my easy, quick recommendation for right, belts right. For, for people that want to sit there assembling it and yeah, that, not used to it. Yeah. That's the, that's the thing. Like, you know, individuals grow up writing um, like ourselves, and I'm assuming you probably did. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> uh, you grow up writing, and you're like, well, this is just a part of the habit. You know, it is what it is. You know, but when you bring a family, and maybe your wife didn't, you know, come from that space too, it's like, right. Joe, Justin, this is a pain in the ass. It's like, yeah, it is. And then you try to get them a better belt so it's not such a pain in the butt. Yeah, but, absolutely. Uh, yeah, the 4.2 and 4.3 are easier than the 5.3. And I, sure. I actually have the, the 5.3s in my car with the 3-inch wide, mm-hmm. and uh, they fit right over the next-gen uh, neck brace oh, really rad. well. Um, I was worried about that with the padding, but actually yeah, me, it was really comfortable, too. and it and it worked really well. I was I'm really surprised excited to hear that, that, but that's super yeah. cool because a lot of people run um, – you know, they want to run two inch. We have a we have specific race belts now where um, it's a two inch, 
you know, you can you can run a three inch lap or a uh-huh. two inch lap, and then you run two inch tops, and they have removable pads. This uh, s- new Serape belt does not have it, but basically the belt has a removable pad, so then you can run a Hans device without the pad. Okay. Um, but then when you want to go play or pre run, you can run it with the pad because right. you're you're not having your next gen on. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the race belts come with ratchet style pull up, pull down, pull ups, pull downs, um, roller adjusters, which is the classic style, um, and then we have a cam lock belt. So yeah. Any type of racer um, can find something to love in a configuration with us. So what is this that you brought here? I mean, this this looks incredible. Yeah. So basically, uh, we wanted to do a Serape pattern, um, but we didn't just want to do like a textbook, you know, Serape pattern online. Yeah. We saw some inspiration. Uh, we changed a, a little bit of it. So you'll see there's a red, white, and green lines on the red, and there's blue, white, and red on the, on the blue. Um, we manipulated that and added the PRP logo to it. So there's some so branding cool. on the actual webbing itself. Um, just want to protect ourselves, you know, naturally. We don't want anyone to take our webbing style. Yeah, so we, yeah. we always um, make sure to toss in some of our branding into the webbing just as a protective keepsake. But um, these belts just launched on the 27th, I awesome. believe, of January. So these are pretty fresh. Um, man, we we have blown through them already. I we bet. are we are hu- They are hustling. They're hitting the market. They're out at King of the Hammers right now, uh, it, airing really well. Um, I know probably when this airs, you know, Hammers will be over. But, man, they were a hit at Hammers. I know it because I worked there a couple days and uh, everybody was oh bro yeah you know? yeah, the, yeah right the, right it's the, they're just different they're it's, cool it's like they what do you out. what do you mean yeah there's a serape printed belt now uh-huh. you know I think the brain goes back to oh well yeah they got black belts and a couple other colors yeah. you know they don't they can't They've never seen something like this yeah, done before, yeah. so the, the the eyeballs get really wide, which so, is cool. So one thing I want to compliment you guys yeah. on is, you know, I've I've tried many different brand belts over the years, and um, you guys always have a really good setup for being able to release this. Yeah. You know, you have an old belt, it's stale, it's hard, it's dirty. Trying to release it, you're like yanking on the belt. Honestly, that the PRP seat belt has just always been really good about not doing that. Yeah. And being able to actually release yourself, I always try to, re- you know. I know um, what belts you're talking about. Release the belt about. before I, I break it apart, but these have always been really good um, to me, and, and I've noticed that these have stood out from the other ones. Yeah, a lot of belts run this. Um, so the 5.3 standard, like how this setup is, comes with these. They're roller adjusters. Okay. This is the classic style. Um, now, it's not incredibly, you know, imperative to, to run like these over here unless uh-huh. you're racing, but like these are super great. They work well, but like these up here is different. Like right, it and then it has the little pull tab on them. Yeah, um, not gonna name what brand that is, but they have pull tabs on them, you know. And so it just it's difficult. It just gets clogged. And so um, these are really great for the lap. They're just not really great for the top piece. Um, it's just a different type of adjustment. Yeah. And so uh, yeah, we take a lot of pride in this. But if you want like a race belt, you can request these on here uh-huh. and pull up or pull down. So it really That's like awesome. mix and match to kind of. Get your rig right and make sure you're in your car right and make you happy. And uh, but yeah, these thank you, appreciate it. Yeah, are, yeah, these it's are definitely it stands out. Like that's one of the key easy. things that I really appreciate from you guys. And and uh, I also um, the on this one obviously we're not showing it on this end, but you have the uh, um, bolts. But I actually replaced this where you had the uh, the clip on ring. Yeah. Um, so you can quickly remove it, and then in a race application you could put a collar pin through it. So it's actually a really cool feature for being able to pull your seats out really quick. Yeah. And not yank them out of the seats. This you know? is and this is a great exi- this, Thank you for bringing this up. This is a really good example here. So this belt right here, this top piece, it is it allows you to pull this out. Okay, where, right. you, where you can do clips up top. Uh-huh. Um, so we sell a clip kit where you can basically un- get to get this out, swap, swap to clips. Now, that's cool for enthusiasts, but when you jump to this, here is this is the lap belt, and people that are racing that run clips on the lap, uh, yeah. this is sewn. Right, I, can't right. get, I can't get this yeah, out. Yeah. So that's why they have to run a race belt that has removable tabs uh-huh. where this piece is sewn away. Got it. So you, we can have a removable tab piece. And so um, that came into play several times at Hammers this weekend. Right. People like, I need clips. And I'm like, well, you bought the wrong belt because yeah. I can't swap. You can't easily swap that. You're going to uh-huh. cut your tag off. So um, when they order race belts, yeah, you can just buy clips separate and then swap it to clips. That's awesome. Yeah. Good to know. Um, and so obviously if you have the seats, you have the seat belts, you're eventually going to end up with the steering wheel, right? And you yeah. guys seem like a go-to for that. And I run your guys' steering wheel. I love it. feels good. Cool. 
Um, and you guys have the hub on it, goes on the for the UTV. Yeah, we've really expanded that steering wheel line and uh, appreciate it, run the wheel. I mean, we've really, um, you know, we entered the steering wheel market with a lot of unknowns, like, oh, yeah, you know, why not? You right. know, we're selling to that, we're selling to the same customer. Um, basically where they, they can run that house of products. Um, steering wheels I call like the fourth step, like the fourth child. Okay. It's uh, seats, harnesses, and storage. Yep. And then steering wheels is like hanging out over here. Yeah, like, yeah, what about yeah. me? And so uh, steering wheels have gotten incredibly popular. Um, I brought a uh, special example, um, and this will actually go live in May. I'm showing you guys first, actually, um, so when this drops. Um, no one's actually seen this before, but... Um, this is the uh, this is our D-shaped steering wheel. We just released these last year. Super popular wheel, but we ended up doing this American flag pattern. Um, cool. And then if you see pretty faintly on the spoke here, we have a little pattern here that oh, um, wow. emulates the New Glory harness design that was so popular last year. Um, and then it, we sell the caps separate now. Uh -huh. um, we're really allowing the customer to select the cap that they want to roll with versus That's cool. us just supplying it now. Yeah. Um, so People like to, it's another area for people to customize. And yeah. so we really like to um, give customers that option. So yeah, steering wheel's super popular. We got deep dish, flat, and now this D-shaped version. And then we're gonna come out with this uh, American flag pattern to match. Do you see like the vinyl steering wheel over the, the Al is it Alcantara? Is that the material? It'd or be, is it uh, a it's Alcantara. Oh, Alcantara, Alcantara. Yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. And, <laughs> and, and no, it's totally cool. And the, the common um, wording is, well, it has to be Alcantara, it's suede. Yeah. Um, so Alcantara is a brand, Okay. actually. So oh. you pay to run an Alcantara oh, wheel. Oh, no way, it's a, okay. It's a brand. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, our, our wheels utilize uh, an, an, an equivalent suede. Okay. Um, so that way it's not like a $500 steering wheel out, yeah, out of the yeah. gate, you know? Right. Um, we're thinking the consumers, you know, they're enthusiasts. They want a, a different wheel than what comes with stock, you know, that still suede, still feels really nice, wears really great, but it doesn't have to have that name brand price. Right. Um, and so, yeah, Alcantara is great, awesome, super soft, but you know, it's. I never knew that's how it was actually said. I, I I've had always to run heard it people down. say it the other Someone way. Someone will so. probably correct me and oh, say, yeah. Justin, you probably said I've it wrong. I've always so. heard it the other way, so that's fun. It's funny if, to actually hear it that way. They, All right, so as you know, like we're, we're starting to become really big in the door industry, and we have uh, new doors for. Uh, um, all the different UTVs or the popular UTVs. And, yeah, and the big beautiful. thing that people are asking us about is is door bags. And, and thankfully, we're actually going to be teaming up with yeah. you guys to create door bags for custom for our doors. And we're pretty excited about that. And uh, it just seems like out, even just at Hammers uh, last weekend, just every single vehicle had door bags in it. And it's crazy how popular they are. People stuff in, like you stuff tacos into that one yeah. video you guys put on the PRP page. Um, like you can put anything in tacos, hammers, like um, your they, phone. They fit so much. Like you can really make it as utility as you want. Um, like two consumers again. We're talking racers, and then we're talking right. Um, you know the everyday Joe. You know everyday Joe's gonna put his wallet, sunglasses, phone, yeah. keys, and then the racer's gonna be like. Man, I need to put this 1988 wrench in here because it's it's the only size I have. Yeah. You know, so it's like as long as um, uh, there's a, a good enough depth to it, it'll hold up to the race. Um, that's really kind of what we're after on the race storage. I mean, we have an impact gun bag. People buy it to put their guns in, but um, their actual guns. But the impact gun bag's rad. It sits on the inside of the door. Uh -huh. ha has Velcro on it. So um, yeah, we're looking forward to, to making bags um, for UTV doors. You guys' doors are, are actually the most beautiful doors I've seen. They're, there's Thank they you. look Appreciate really that. great quality. And Thank you. So, um, making a custom door for the enthusiast is going to be able to open it up extremely because then they're going to go, well, my car doesn't come with a lot of storage. Like the two seat cars, like where do you put stuff? Right. Yeah. Where do you, like you replace this, the, the only compartment cause you put a rugged radio in. Yeah. That's okay, it. Now there's then nothing. You know? room. Yeah. You yeah, yeah, room. Yeah. So they're going to be looking for options. And so, um, it's super smart of, um, businesses like yourself that are manufacturing products like, like that to consider, um, selling another piece of product on top of that with, with your branding on it. So you'll be able to have an LSK door bag, basically. Awesome. That's customized yeah, to your door. Yeah, we can't wait. Yeah, it'll, 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 it'll be rad. And they're all made here, which is great. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, on top of that, like, you know, just tell us a little bit more about PRP itself and, yeah. you know, the marketing team. You guys are absolutely killing it. You know, what, what, you. what do you guys have planned this year? And, 
and uh, you know, what do you look forward to? Yeah, for sure. Um, so PRP was kind of sort of the beginning. PRP was founded um, in 1997 by Aaron Wedeking. Um, we are 25 years into this thing now. Wow. Um, so um, Aaron uh, basically uh, built PRP seats. Um, Sheer had a, a demand he wasn't able to get seats in time for something he needed it for and said, well, how hard could it be? Yeah. And then he built it and sold his first set to b and Buggy, the OGs in uh-huh. Oceanside for bugs. Um, what's up, Gary? Um, and so <laughs> I'm sure Gary will probably watch. Gary will probably watch this. I'll send it to him. But um, we sold his first pair to Gary, and then Gary's like, "You're the one I want to work with," and stopped selling anything else. Awesome. And so uh, PRP really kind of took off. Um, Aaron went ahead and sold the company in 2007. Um, he bought it back in 2009. What a deal that was. And so, and then since then, um, he hired my marketing and sales director in 2012. Um, and then my marketing sales director hired me in 2019 um, to just be the social media guy, just your neighborhood uh-huh. social media kid, you know, that thought, you know, he could figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Um, and awesome. since then, jumped a couple spots, a couple spots now um, to marketing manager. We got a team of five um, that kick ass. Um, we have a, we have four brands underneath us. We have PRP, Status Racing. Uh, we have Speed Strap, which is the popular tie down, the three wheel point tie downs yep. for racers and stuff. Uh, recovery ropes, all that good stuff. And then we have an Amazon company called Bullring. Um, so we hand it, we handle all the marketing for that. Is all, all that made in the here in the in the U.S. or is or is, it depends, depends on what it is. It depends on what it is. Yeah. yeah. So the seats and stuff for Status Racing are are, 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 are here. The covers are all made here. Right. Um, status Racing's gone to uh, really trying to focus on getting FIA certified seats. Uh huh. Um, and an FIA certification is really um, for designated on road racing. Um, right now, there's no off road um, racing. S- you know, racing sync. I don't racing, yeah. you know, group that requires it. So King of the Hammers Ultra 4 does not require an FIA certified seat. Really? No. Just SFI? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Wow. It's just nothing. No no SFI, no FIA, no nothing. So you can just roll up with, you know, a $300 composite seat from um, another company and race, basically. Wow. Uh, yeah, but for on-road racing, you have to have an FIA seat if you're doing yeah. uh, tracing, you know, you're racing an auto club, you uh-huh. know, just down the street from you guys. So um, we're really focused there. So um, very cool. Versus manufacturing a, a whole new seat, spending ten thousand dollars, you know, five thousand to test, five thousand for the certification, and wow. hoping the seat passes for FIA yeah. cert to say we make our own seat. It's like, you know, status racing is just a small market share. We can't, you know, take the hit of it not working out. Right, right. And then, you know, going to the R and D on this mold. So. Um, we basically do the covers here. Very basically. cool. Yeah, so it's the same style. You know, you customize the seats front front to back, just like how PRP does. And um, yeah, those are all four brands here. So um, since then, uh, go back. I mean, Aaron um, sold the company to Best Top, which makes the soft tops and hard tops for Jeeps. Um, okay. And it allowed us to move out of a 12,000 square foot building into a 48,000 square foot building, which awesome. allows this substantial growth and and being able to to get machines and capital to be able to do uh, what we do. You know, we now do seat covers and you know we sew 80 to 90 seats a day. Like that's incredible. How many people do you have working there? Uh, we have 98 employees. That's like, you know, unreal. Nobody would imagine. You know, this yeah. this company have 98 employees, but we do. We have all the sewers. We have all the mounters. We have all the QC. We have the welders. And and I believe you guys offer like window net services. Like if you were the oh, yeah. fabricator. The frame and send it in. You guys will. We'll do the window nets. Yeah. We weld all this, all the suspension seat frames here. Okay. I mean, it's really a U.S. made operation. Um, awesome. As, literally as much as we possibly can to be USA pride forward. Um, and it's made in Temecula, Southern California. You yeah. Know, you get off on Temecula Parkway and head out to Glamis. You know, it's yeah, yeah, it's yeah, kind yeah. of a, yeah. is a is a cool spot to be in the off road community. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. So yeah, that is. Uh, I mean, that's really PRP, and we're gonna k- keep going. Um, twenty twenty three off to a great start. Um, as I showed you guys, this wheel is gonna come out in May. <laughs> and then uh, we have some other harness ideas um, to to release at the end of the year. Uh, we have new. Sh- I, I won't lean on to, to what that pattern's going to be because yeah. I, I still haven't seen it yet. But um, we want to do a. Um, uh, we we will be releasing a, a new version of Shreddy harnesses oh, coming cool. up. Awesome. Um, we want to do a different Shreddy wheels for this year. Yeah. Um, Shreddy storage actually. We want to do a little bit of storage because you're like, well, I've already got all this stuff. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah. Um, and then redo some of the seats with some new configurations for him. Right. So um, it really allows that customability because if you wanted to call in your regular customer and you want to go, I want the Shreddy logo on my seat. Well, you can't because you don't own that logo. You know, yeah, nobody yeah. can get your, nobody can get your logo without you doing it. So, so what items do you offer in the Shreddy, um, 
collab, essentially with that logo on it? Uh, we seats right now, and then we want and harnesses and steering wheels. We do want to jump to um, storage here here this year, um, but it just kind of is like a if you want a shreddy branded seat, you have yeah. to buy the versions we offer. Right, you can't be like I want I want the Premier Light with a shreddy logo on it. Well, we don't make a shreddy version of that. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, and you're not Blake. Yeah. So therefore, I can't make it right, for you. Right, right. You know? Yeah, yeah. And uh, so uh, that is uh, that's worked out really neat for us. Um, working with Terra Crew and Blake, Darren Parsons, awesome. Eisenhower's, like yeah. all those guys are super rad. Yeah. They help. Um, and they really diversify our market from a UTV and race focus to being fun and pre-run and the and, lifestyle. And the lifestyle right. of being an off-road enthusiast. And so they are. They're the ones that everybody looks up to and and really like emulates out there when they're. Um, you know, when, when they're riding, you know, you, you ride for yourself for sure, but you always have some form of like, if only I was like, or man, but he has that, you know, yeah, and yeah. Um, working with those guys has just been a blessing and all of them are super great. They're like family to us Absolutely. Um, and we love seeing them and hanging out with them on you drinking beer by the fire and uh-huh. just, just talking. I mean, that's really what it is. It's, we are, you know, at, at, at King of the Hammers, it's, it's all just big family. We all just hang out and, and awesome. do all that stuff together. Very cool. Yeah, man. Well, well I, I really appreciate you coming today. And, Dude, uh, that, it was, of course. It was, it was great. I'm um, honored. I'm honored to be the first okay, person awesome. on this. Yeah, no, yeah. This, this, is, is, this is crazy. This is all new. This is the first time. It's been very, very much a learning curve to get to this point, and uh, we're pretty excited to do this. Uh, make sure that you uh, you know give us feedback on this and, and let us know who else you'd like to see on this uh, podcast as we uh, move forward. And, um, yeah, thank you very much, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. And we're not making fanny packs yet. Okay. Please, God, <laughs> stop the madness. We need them. We need them. Every, the Can world we get some needs LSK the fanny, fanny pack, packs? packs. Dude, uh, they want PRP LSK fanny packs. Dude, yes. All they do is comment <laughs> on all my all of our posts now. Fanny packs. Oh, gosh. Stop the madness, please. <laughs> thank oh, you. Man. But seriously, bro, thank you for having yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Hyped thank you for able coming. able to show this stuff. Um, see you guys at the facility. It's super awesome. I'm really looking forward to working together on a uh, on a business level and then more on uh, more on this fun stuff here so absolutely killer thank you very much yeah dude